Hey, what is going on everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today, I'm gonna be showing you a very cool map animation inside of Adobe After Effects. This is a very cool and amazing animation. I love to use it all the time. And it may look hard, but it's actually very easy and quick to do. So without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. So what I would normally do is I would open up Google Maps and then I would just determine from which country slash city to where I would go. Uh, maybe if you're going on a trip, you want to make an animation for that. But for the sake of this video, I'm just, I'm going to go with, the, I'm going to make the starting one Colombia. And I'm going to go from Colombia to Florida. Now, you can set it as, you can start from a country, like the whole damn country. Or you can set it as a city inside of the country. That's a personal preference, really. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make the starting point Colombia and ending point Florida. Now what we wanna do is we wanna search on Google flight routes from Colombia to Florida. Okay, so if we search for from Colombia to Florida, it turns out that it is actually a straight line, a straight line from Colombia to Florida, but it leaves from uh, the shore, from near the Caribbean Sea, which is this city um Barranquilla. so now what i want to do is what you want to do is you want to go to the google maps menu click on satellite okay so now we we can see Barracula. i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right or wrong and florida so let's say you want to go from Barracula to miami so what you want to do is you want to take a screenshot okay so now the first thing that you want to do is after you've imported your uh picture um, we're gonna scale it up, so we're gonna click S and we're gonna scale until we can see, let me put this on full, until we can see Baracula right here and here's Miami. You can scale it up as much as you want, you can even reposition it. So clicking P for position and I'm just gonna scroll about right here. So now what we wanna do is we wanna create a new layer, so go layer, new, solid. And doesn't matter what color you choose again. Now what we want to do is we want to uncheck the visibility of this layer. Click on this layer and click on the pencil. Now the flight route from Brackel to Miami is a straight line, which is convenient for us. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to make it uh, kind of a bit curved. So I'm going to go like all the way here through Cuba and over the Bahamas into Miami. Where we want our curve is we're going to just click and hold and then drag so that we make a smooth curve. And then we click on Miami and we drag to make smooth curve again. Okay, now we have our mask on this layer. So what we want to do is I'll make it visible again. We have our mask right here. Now you want to go to the effects and presets and you want to search for stroke effect under generate apply it to this layer and now under stroke in effect controls paint style you want to click on transparent this is going to make it uh it's, it's only going to show our mask and what we can do here is we can increase the brush size we can change the color of course now what also we can do is we can increase the brush hardness or we can decrease it and there's a spacing which means it'll be dots or you can make it as a whole straight line for this tutorial i'm gonna have spacing at 100 percent and maybe keep, reduce the brush size a bit. Yeah, something like 9.3. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do, we wanna click on the end right here, create a keyframe, set it to zero, and then we, we wanna move where we want our destination to end, let's say about here, and we're gonna go to a hundred. Now, if we play this back, what you'll notice is that it's moving starting at Bracula and ending in Miami. Now, to make things smoother, what you want to do is you want to click on the solid layer, hit U on your keyboard, and select both of these, holding Shift and selecting the other keyframe, and keyframe assistant, Easy Ease. What this will do is it'll ease in uh, your animation, so it gradually, slows, gradually speeds up and gradually slows down. Okay, now that we've done the animation itself, what we can add to it is another effect called drop shadow. Oop, drop shadow. What this will do, we're gonna add to the light. What this will do is it's gonna make a shadow for our animation. So if we go here 
and we can increase the opacity and now you can play with the distance so I'm gonna put it about here change the opacity to about 40 percent we can also change the direction so we can put the shadow to the left side or the right side I think this looks a bit a bit better yeah right here okay so let's play back see how it looks okay so it looks pretty dope and what we want to do now is we want to animate the map itself alongside this animation okay so now what we can do is we we're gonna go to new layer and we're gonna make a camera layer click OK and now we have our camera layer which is gonna enable 3d movements so in order to work with the camera we need to make a layer new mm, layer new null object and this is the this is where we're gonna parent the camera so this is gonna be like the father of the camera it decides what it does and what it does not so we're gonna click here on this uh, parent pick whip and we're gonna drag it onto the null object then we're gonna enable 3d for all of our layers okay so now that we have parented our null our camera to our null layer what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click P for position, Shift R for rotation, and Shift Scale. Now my Y rotation is set at minus 22, and this is gonna give it kind of some more dynamics, more uh, 3D look. And we start right here where the animation starts. I'm gonna keyframe all of them, and I'm gonna zoom in. If you zoom out, reduce the scale, it's gonna zoom in. I'm gonna go not that much, <laughs> and I'm gonna go down to where Bracula is and we're gonna go all the way over here and once the animation starts to leave the uh, um, area we'll leave the area leave the map we're gonna keyframe all of these once more and we're gonna go up towards Miami I'm gonna zoom out a touch do a bit more and then we're gonna continue with the animation until it reaches Miami about here when it does reach Miami we're gonna go all the way up to Miami and I'm gonna scale it in and then my Y rotation set up minus 22 I'm gonna make it 22 and what I want to do is want to highlight all of my keyframes and click F9 to easy ease all of them. So if we play this back again, it starts from Bracula and slowly goes all the way up, zooms out, and then zooms back in onto Miami. Now I think um, the last part of the animation is a bit slow, so we're gonna increase it, put it about here. Let's watch that. There we go, this looks much more dynamic and awesome. Now as a final touch, what we can do is we can add a location icon, as we've already had the uh, Bracky location icon, and we can go all the way here once we reach Miami. Let me put this on the top. Once we're gonna enable 3D, and scale and position, scale it down, move it up. And now we have it onto Miami. So what we can do is when the animation reaches Miami, we're gonna, I'm just gonna delete the rest of this layer. And we can click on scale. We can make a keyframe for it. We can keep it at zero. And once the animation reaches Miami, we're gonna make it kind of pop. And we're gonna easy ease these keyframes as well. So once more F9 for easy ease. And this is how it looks. So this is how you guys make an awesome 3D map animation inside of After Effects. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'm always open to hearing your suggestions and thoughts. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button for more future uploads. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.